Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome to our seminar on the descriptions of paradise and hellfire and the links between our final destination and the decisions that we make in this world. This class, while yes, we do have descriptions of the afterlife, is more about how you're going to change your decisions in this world and live more consciously with your decisions in this world, whether it's at your job or your studies or raising children or socializing or the goals that you're setting and the ambitions that you have and the way that you take care of your time. All of that, all of these decisions are directly linked to the destination that you seek. And if we explore this motif and this theme of our destinations with our decisions, we will find inshallah ta'ala some massive changes in our lives for the better. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us that. Allahumma ameen. Everything you do in this world becomes more meaningful. Your goals, your decisions, the choice of where to work, the community that you want to live in, uh, the uh, studies that you pursue, your education, all of this is tied to the home that you want to build in paradise. So this class, this seminar with its foundations and the activities that we do inshallah ta'ala will affect us in everything that we do. Every decision that we make, our interaction with other people, our relationships, our health, all of that is linked to our final destination. Every interaction, every moment, every choice. The big picture in terms of our expectation by the end of the seminar with both of its components, on-site and online, very crucial to cover both of these components, inshallah ta'ala, is to be more mindful in our decision making. What does that mean? On a daily level, on a daily basis, we make so many decisions. Oftentimes they're automated, right? But we want to become a little more mindful with these decisions because we now know the weight, the magnitude of these decisions in terms of the long-term effects in this world, and of course, the links between these decisions and the final destination of the afterlife. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us and to guide us to, to really achieve all that we can through mindful decision making. What you decide to do consciously, mindfully every day, whether it's your long-term goal or your short-term goal, whether it's for one day or for 50 years, will affect your final destination. So decide wisely. Throughout this seminar, inshallah ta'ala, we'll be exploring hellfire and paradise and their foundations before through the stories of two individuals, Abdullah and Khalid. These two individuals generally from practicing Muslim families grew up in a very similar type of environment in the West. And as they were growing up, they started to make decisions, especially at the college level. Decisions that started to determine their beliefs amongst them, for example, is that Khalid eventually left Islam. And this is based on a real story. Abdullah, however, as simple as he was in his knowledge of Islam, and he considered himself not to really even be like a student of knowledge, uh, he was trying to hold on to his faith while also having this really good companionship, this friendship with someone that he grew up with. How then do we see the decisions that they make at the college level later on in life and how that ended up uh, in the next life. So we will be exploring inshallah ta'ala the uh, experiences of Khalid and Abdullah in this world and potentially what that may look like as Khalid experiences, for example, the day of judgment or the hellfire and Abdullah experiences his friend and the consequences and regrets uh, of his actions in terms of the description of the hellfire. And later on for Abdullah, the description of paradise and the conversation that he has with Khalid about the doubts that he had and the doubts he tried to raise and their friendship and how it ended up subhanAllah manifesting in a very beautiful way in terms of the story that is given to us in the Quran in Surah Al-Safat about two friends in this world. So we are linking two individuals that we know of here in this world to two individuals that we don't know who they are, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala references their story without telling us about the decisions, all the details of their decisions in this world. And amongst them will be that decision to disbelieve and the rejection of life after death. At the end of this seminar, inshallah, you will be able to demonstrate more conscious and mindful decision-making and goal-setting that is rooted in your final destination. 
in order to achieve that. However, I expect a few things from you. You are required, inshallah ta'ala, to join us, obviously, for the powerful on-site component, for that memorable experience in which we utilized all of our senses for that powerful boost towards our final destination. And of course, with the online component of the seminar, also crucial to cover from beginning to end, inshallah ta'ala, is to study the material and to go through some of the individual activities as much as you can, so that inshallah ta'ala, you reach that mindful decision making rooted in your final destination. What I'd like you to do inshallah ta'ala, on a piece of paper, on a Word doc, I want you to list out your top five goals, top five goals in life. Now you can write your top five goals or you can choose, for example, your top goals in health, wealth, relationships, and spirituality. But ultimately, what we want to do right now for this activity is go ahead and write your top five goals. Once you've written your top five goals, I want you to ask yourself honestly, on a scale of one to 10, how much you believe and feel that these goals are linked to your final destination, the destination that you seek, let's say of high level in Jannah. How linked are they? Or do you see them as goals you take care of here and paradise is a separate thing that comes from only one component, one slice, one uh, aspect of your life. So go ahead and give yourself a uh, score on a scale of one to 10. By the end of this seminar, inshallah ta'ala, you should see very clearly how your goals in life, in all areas of life, every facet of life, are directly linked to paradise, your final destination. That's what we want in our seminar, inshallah. All of the information in our seminar is obviously from the Qur'an, from the authentic hadith describing paradise and hellfire right? for the description part. Of course, we are taking some uh, methodologies in terms of how to deliver this, how to tie this into the psychology of decision making. And this is something that Alhamdulillah has been taught so many different times over the years. And we've seen the success uh, on a personal one-to-one -one basis with students, uh, with family members, with community members. Ultimately, we want to take all of that and package it into this one beautiful experience, inshallah. The information for this class and all of the experiences and activities is actually the result and the culmination of over a year and a half of intensive research on paradise and hellfire and how they are linked to our decisions in this world. And so I have gone through, for example, more than 50 different sources about paradise and hellfire from the Islamic perspective, as well as other sources, perhaps another 30 to 40 sources, just on the psychology of decision-making and coaching psychology to try to link together these two in a very relevant way for us today. How to take the, the idea, the concept, the reality, the final destination that you seek and to basically tie it into all of the conscious decision making that you have today short term and long term as well. And inshallah ta'ala, we will see that when we start to root all of our goals in that final destination. Alhamdulillah, I've taught this material for many years and have heard about so many different changes in people's lives after experiencing what it is that we have to offer as Muslims with the discussion on paradise, hellfire, and your decision making in this world. And I can't count the number of stories, but for example, uh, one brother, subhanAllah, he was on the verge of making a really important career choice. And he attended this seminar and we had a number of conversations afterwards as well. He ended up deciding, as he told me later on, he ended up deciding on something that was more meaningful to his final destination, to his pursuit of paradise, even though initially it was not what he was inclining towards uh, at the corporate level in terms of his career. But alhamdulillah, even subhanAllah, years after that, even financially, he said what he was doing perhaps seemed different. It was a very different track in life. He had actually, uh, he was initially going to go into the uh, finance sector. And he said when he made the conscious decision uh, for him, it was actually IT and uh, several side gigs, his own businesses. He found himself happier as well. And the reason he was happier is because his goals and his career and his work was now linked to his final destination. There are other examples. A young man, for example, I think he was 19 or 20 years old, trying to get married at the time. And he said this one factor in his pursuit of a potential spouse had not crossed his mind before. Uh, which is the person that you're marrying, that decision will have ramifications in terms of your final destination too. And so for him, he was now a little more aware of that. 
going into marriage. And Alhamdulillah, I think three or four years after that, he had just graduated. Uh, he did get married and Alhamdulillah, he's doing well. And of course, this is just one of many factors, but it is a very powerful and weighty one. It is the heaviest decision in terms of the consequences. And there are other examples of people, Alhamdulillah, attending the seminars and finding themselves a little more forgiving with their family members, repairing relationships more, mediating when there are problems. Uh, we've had students change their uh, decision to study one or another uh, undergraduate uh, study program or uh, some kind of internship because of their connection to their final destination. So the decisions in this world started to change. There's even a brother, subhanAllah, who was going to the gym and he was working out and he was really fit. And we'd see him all the time there. We used to go and work out at night. And we'd ask basically about uh, what drove him, what motivated him, because he was extremely, extremely motivated, mashallah. As, and he said it was his idea that the body that he was given in this world, the body that we have temporarily in this world that is building a home in paradise by the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala needs to be strong and fit. So it gave him that push even while working out and lifting. Because for him, no pain, no gain. If you're not going through the pain, you can't enter paradise. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the gains in this world and the gains of the next life. Allahumma ameen. People spend years and hours sometimes per day studying topics that won't benefit them at all. And in other cases, people do spend a long time studying things that benefit them in some way. They have ramifications for a few years, no doubts. And they might see their benefits for 20, 30, 40, or even 50 years in this world. And then there are those who spend a few hours studying paradise and hellfire in a way that they have not studied it before. It's not random reminders of Jannah and Naw. It's not just the ayats that they were reading in the Quran, but they studied it in a way in, it, in which it was meaningful, it was structured, it was tied into their psychology in terms of who they are and the decisions that they make. Ultimately, ultimately, as they go through this experience and as we embark on this journey together, the end result is conscious, mindful, powerful decision-making that's tied into and rooted in the final destination that you seek.